Good morning. Today we are talking about uh, the beginnings of uh, the historical and social background of Great Britain. The beginning started with three different populations which uh, succeeded uh, on, uh, uh, in the British territories. These populations were Celts at the very beginning, we are talking about the first century BCE, uh, Romans from the 55, 55 BCE to the 410 common era, and then the Anglo-Saxons came around 500 common era, that is Anno Domini. Celts spread across Europe. There were main, um, there were mainly three Celtic groups: the Gauls, which came from uh, northern France, the Britons from Wales and Cornwall, and uh, the Gaels that established in uh, Ireland and uh, Scotland. This tribe spoke a um, common language and uh, uh, which still survives today in some parts of Great Britain, especially in the north. And uh, they lived in tribes and their religion was uh, at the beginning called Druidism. Uh, then, uh, with the um, time, Druids, uh, who were highly educated, uh, took up the uh, Christian religion, creating a um, particular spiritual Christianity that uh, um, also today had survived in some parts of Ireland. When the Roman came uh, to Britain, they built forts, roads, baths, and um, the Romans, led by the Emperor Hadrian, built a war that's called the Hadrian's War to um, defend the province of Britannia in the south uh, from uh, the um, northernmost attacks uh, um, of the north. Romans brought also their language, Latin and uh, uh, Christianity, and uh, um, southern Britain became completely a part of the Roman world. In 410 uh, Common Era, the Anglo-Saxons came uh, to Great Britain and uh, um, Anglo-Saxons were Germanic tribes, so they came from the north, they spoke different dialect, dialects uh, and uh, um, they were divided uh, um, uh, into into different um, uh, kings and tribes, and they established uh, in seven states uh, Kent, Northumbria, East Anglia, Mercia, Essex, Wessex, and Sussex. This period uh, was called uh, the Heptarchy and lasted from 660 to 800. The Anglo Saxon established uh, a sort of uh, pre feudal system uh, where the king was surrounded uh, by his followers or thines uh, to whom he gave uh, protection. The thanes uh, watched over the farm, uh, land, uh, collected taxes, and went to war when the king required it. They established themselves in villages, uh, they often farmed the land around, and uh, uh, they used uh, a very mysterious runic alphabet. Uh, when uh, Christianity was uh, uh, brought to Britain uh, with uh, Pope Gregory the Great, who sent uh, a monk named Augustine to convert the Anglo-Saxon, uh, the um, this uh, um, monk uh, um, established in Canterbury and was the first archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, also, uh, Saint Patrick 
uh, came uh, to Britain and he organized a church uh, among the Celts of Ireland, uh, as we said uh, um, before. Uh, the first monk to write about uh, the event uh, that happened during this period was Venerable Bede, and is in his Historia Regum Britannia, or uh, an Ecclesiastical Church History of English People, uh, he uh, let us uh, know uh, what uh, happened uh, in the period. Uh, by the end of the 18th, 8th century, the Vikings uh, came uh, to Britain and there were different uh, um, uh, raids, uh, in particularly in the north. Uh, um, for example, um, the Vikings attacked the monastery of Lindisfarne on the coast of Northumbria. And uh, um, about uh, 850, the Vikings began to settle in uh, Britain. Um, but uh, um, he, uh, the Anglo-Saxon king, Alfred the Great of Wessex, uh, tried to fight uh, against uh, the, the Danes, against the Viking, Vikings. Uh, and uh, um, he also, uh, Alfred also tried to civilize his people and uh, in the ecclesiastical church history of the English people um, he uh, tried to um, stress on the importance of the use uh, of uh, uh, old English uh, instead uh, of uh, uh, the previous dialects. Uh, after Al Alfred, uh, uh, Edward came to power and uh, uh, Harold, uh, which, who is considered uh, the uh, last uh, Anglo-Saxon king, uh, face, uh, uh, could face the Norman invasion. Uh, in uh, 1066, however, he was uh, um, defeated and uh, um, in Hastings by uh, William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy. And uh, um, here, uh, in this precise moment, uh, started the um, Norman uh, period uh, of Britain. <laughs>